Hello and welcome to this knock demonstration video for our Pulp Red Offshore Tidal Computation software. My name is Andy Broderick, I'm one of the product developers at the National Oceanography Center and today I'll run through some of the basics of what this application is used for. So this application complements the Windows version of our Pulp Red desktop software to deliver tidal computation via the web, which allows for a more accessible avenue and improved user experience. Pulp Red Offshore uses oceanographic models to compute export and visualize tidal levels and currents. There are currently two main areas of focus for computation in this software with more features to be added soon as part of our development roadmap. I'm going to be using our CS20 model today to demonstrate how to calculate both a time series and a spatial data set. So to compute a time series, we first click here on the action sidebar on the left hand side. This will open a dialogue where we can enter a latitude and a longitude for our desired location, as well as the dates required. Alternatively, we can select the point on the map by clicking and then clicking on the resulting marker to input the values of the latitude and longitude for us. Positional values can also be entered in a variety of ways to support a number of different notations. These can be found in the application's help section. Here we can see the results for a time series computation made for the next year at 15 minute intervals. This data can be configured in the preferences sidebar on the right hand side where different units of measurements can be used and we can also include or omit different parts of the data. Switching over to the plots tab we can see this data visualized as a plot of elevation. We can also see it as speed and direction. And the east, west, north, south components. When we are happy with the data, this can then be exported via a text file or a CSV file. For a spatial computation, we can compute the tidal levels for a given area on the map by clicking here on the action sidebar on the left hand side. This form is similar to the time series form, however, we can enter a range of latitude and longitude to represent an area. Notice we can quickly input these values by clicking the fit bounds to map view button, which takes the latitude and longitude of the current view window. Moving back to the map view, we can see the tidal current values represented as visual arrows of a given magnitude and direction. We can also visualize the elevations by selecting this in the preferences sidebar on the right hand side. This data can also be exported and altered in the same way as a time series computation. The Microsoft Windows version of Pulp Red has been around for more than 20 years and is used by hundreds of organizations in the offshore sector, environmental research, and academia. We're now looking to bring this capability into cloud services to aid in our journey to make Knox world-renowned tidal modeling capability more accessible and easier to use than ever before. Contact one of the NOC Innovations team members using the contact details on the screen for more information, or check out our content on the NOC Innovations website. Thank you.